using the file retrieval system designed by Yoshi Terauchi. Yoshi Terauchi is the king of file retrieval. He has been working on this system for at least a decade. I once asked Yoshi how many times he used his rotary files before discarding them and his answer was uh, that he used them until they broke in the canal. He retrieved it uh, at them and then uh, got a new one. So that's how, uh, that's how predictable this is in his hands. I hope to show you how it can be just as predictable in your hands. The kit components include a modified number three Gates Glidden Burr, a Treffen Burr, a spear-tipped ultrasonic device, and two spoon-shaped ultrasonic devices to aid troughing. Additionally, there is a very cool device in underneath the top plate, and that is the Yoshi Loop. The Yoshi Loop is totally unique, patented in the United States and Japan, and it is one of the few ways I can get these files out when they don't want to come out with just the ultrasonics. After a lot of uh, experience with new users, as well as my own experience, um, we understand, as you will, that these loops are very fragile, um, they're very tiny, to get them down a canal around a file and, uh, and then be able to pull the file back out. So you may notice that we have included two of them. You will invariably break this first one. We wanted a second one there for you after you figure out what the appropriate forces should be. Also in this underneath section are two hand instruments that are especially helpful for retrievements of all types. There is the ultra-fine explorer tip. These are very long tines. They can go down the, the cuspid to, to the April 3rd. There's also a, a very cool gutta perch remover that has a, an arrowhead on it like, uh, like a spearhead that with a barb on the back side of it that pulls gutta perch out very effectively. Now let me demonstrate in a true tooth training replica uh, the use of each of these instruments. We first need to stage the retrieval field with the number three modified Gates Glidenburg. Notice the little platform there. We're ready for troughing. It's really helpful in the cases that you can see after this initial uh, gauge use, if you can see the, the instrument. Next, the trefine burr will be brought into the canal to start the troughing process around the separated instrument. You can see the animation here showing that occurring. And here it is in the replica. But it's used in reverse. And after a bit of use, you need to clean the little cavity out so it can cut deeper around the separated instrument. The spoon tips are really cool. They go around the file to deepen the, the troughing effect. The number six has a spoon shape facing towards us. We're using the number 12. It's facing away from uh, the hand piece handle. And you can see with that 12 in there, um, really nice trough. Maybe it's time to take it out with a spear tip. These come in a very tiny size, but I like to sharpen them. I also use a brownie point to sharpen the spoons. And then I use an endo bender plier to bend the spoon or the spear tip so it's going to go to the inside of the curve. That's one of the critical things that Dr. Terauchi has identified about the necessities of removing a separated instrument. Besides working on the inside of the curvature, another uh, important thing to do in getting this thing to vibrate out is to use the ultrasonic spear tip in the presence of ultra EDTA solution. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to come out yet, so let's see if we can get more of the file exposed. I'm going to use the six clock spoon. The spoon's facing towards the handle to trough a little bit on the outside since we already have the inside taken care of. And I'm back with the spear on the inside of the curve, giving it another try again in the presence of EDTA solution and the darn thing isn't coming out. So we bring in the big guns, the Yoshi loop device. I love this thing. It's so cool. 
The red button retracts and advances the loop. We bend the needle around a finger so that we don't kink it. That will uh, make it inoperable. But the little wire will easily go around a smooth curvature. We can see the little wire coming out there. It's critical that you form a loop with an explorer. You see a DG16 explorer and I am going to retract the loop around the fatter part of that to make a big loop. There, retracting with the button, and there we see that would be about a millimeter, millimeter and an eighth. And if you want to make a smaller loop, then you're just going to uh, tighten the loop around the smaller part of the explorer. And we see this loop has a diameter of about 0.7 millimeters, which is ideal uh, to use inside the canal prepared by the number three Gates Glidden Burr. Uh, that preparation by that burr. It ends up being 0.7 millimeters or a little bit larger. Now I'll show you how to set the loop angle before you release the loop from the Explorer. You want about a 45 degree angle there and it'll slide right down the canal over the broken file segment and then you retract the red button and it's it's happy time. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. See a little loop coming in? It's got just the right angle. I exp expand just a little bit. I I'm around, I'm around it. Nice. Tighten the loop up. You can see it tighten right, right there. And now I'm going to lightly tug on it. Ah, I already released from it. So I reform the loop, set the angle again. It's a little big. I'm going to make it just a tiny bit smaller. Let's try that. Fits in there. Goes around the broken file segment. And retract it. And once again, we have it engaged, lightly tugging in all directions. Third time's a charm. You got to be persistent to get broken files out. This time, I remembered that uh, some advice here she gave me, and that is once I have that secured, I'm lightly tugging in these different directions. Give it just a little counterclockwise turn and perhaps unthread the file. Tighten the loop here and pull it. Turn it just a little bit and it's getting, it's moving. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> That's one of the best feelings there is in Indo. Got the file out. If it's your file, you've avoided humiliation. If it's somebody else's file, you're the hero. I hope you enjoy this kit as much as I do. And uh, if you have a great case, send it to me.